Hi, welcome to a new tutorial. Today I'm gonna show you how you can use uh, the lighting in Unreal Engine. What is lighting in Unreal Engine, and how you can uh, make changes about lighting. So if you go to the website, lighting environment in Unreal Engine, you saw detail about what is lighting and what's the use of lighting in Unreal Engine. So here you have new feature lumen global illumination and reflection lumen technical de detail lighting essential light type feature properties design and other stuff how you can use it how you can use reflection virtual shadow lighting tools plugins and etc etc they cover everything in here so if we go to the lumen global illumination and reflection you see about lumen is a dynamic global illumination it uh, reflect the light in like uh, our real world it's very revolutionary technique in unreal engine 5 which you don't have in unreal engine 4 so if you go here there is a directional light there is a sky light there is a point light a spotlight rectangular light uh, the same scene they use different lighting and you can see the what difference made the lighting in here so light mobility you can use it as stationary static movable and whatever you prefer static is uh, not uh, movable light not update stationary is half static and and the movable is dynamic lighting which change uh, through like the real world so if you go to the directional light uh, basically directional light is uh, like sunlight it uh, give light from one angle there is also th three mobility settings static stationary movable and it's way same as the other th other light use so a movable is uh, dynamic lighting which changes like uh, the real world and he here you can see the difference uh, the directional light and directional light shadow there is a lot of property and dynamic lighting intensity color uh, boom scale boom threshold shadow and other stuff you can change the lighting as whatever you prefer or whatever way you like but i will show you the main properties usually a beginner use so if we go to the project settings there is a lot of setting there is a few setting for lighting if we go to the render rendering here you can see uh, dynamic global illumination method which is lumen and reflection met method which is also lumen you can change it but lumen is uh, very good uh, very good tool it dynamically changes the lighting in unreal engine level which almost look like uh, similar to the world it reflect the lighting and it changes light like dynamic uh, in the scene we have a sky light we have a sky we have directional light we have a sky atmosphere In my previous tutorial you saw without the lighting the level is like black nothing in here we can change the layout from windows and default and classic this is the default uh, layout of unreal engine so if you delete the sky light uh, you, you see the changes made in here you see the changes so there is nothing there is a uh, total black there is total darkness so we can add the directional light from here place and directional light if you go to the light option you see directional light but it's also black because the angle the angle of the directional light is very important so be careful about what angle is your light so this light is this angle that's why the color is like that but if you change the rotation you saw the scene dramatically change the lighting is like this it is it's look like the noon 
because and uh, also inside have the reflection uh, we are using lumen so you see uh, it's low in inside otherwise it, it will be dark in inside if you use unreal engine 4 uh, light in directional light in position is uh, doesn't matter you can make any position in also doesn't matter the only thing matter is the rotation if you rotate the light you change the light you see the change in is here we can you can change the light like this so change the position whatever you prefer and you will also see the change in happen dy dynamically there is also other feature for the there is intensity we give it 20 but the default is 10 and i think this is a good daylight uh, if you know if you increase the intensity the light will be increased and if you you saw the inside so i made few changes in here if we have 20 the inside lighting is changing dynamically that's the benefit of lumen so i can add a bookmark here and i can jump the scene if i press 2 i add a bookmark in 2 and if i jump in 1 i trim here which i don't want i can set a bookmark in here and change the uh, function of lighting and see what it looks like so i will change set a bookmark again i will add a 4 here so if we press 2 we go inside if we press 4 here we light go outside so select the dynamic light we can also change the color if you want you can change the color by default it's uh, white but we can make it uh, we can make it yellow we can make it green we can make it red whatever you prefer uh, the reddish and yellowish color look like uh, real world so if you give uh, point 0.1 you, you can see the whole thing is uh, like uh, less lighting you can also give uh, one and go inside and see how color change if you give five the inside color is also reflection changing so there is a function indirect lighting if you change the uh, value here the inside lighting will be changed so you can also modify this function as you prefer so when we use architecture visualization we change uh, uh, this function there is uh, also other function use temperature this is important feature in uh, lighting uh, mainly decide our light will be like soft light or uh, hard light if we give 10,000 uh, the lighting will be like a little green uh, little bluish and if we use uh, like uh, 1000 it looks like reddish the main thing is uh, if our color uh, if our value goes beyond uh, 6500 it will look like bluish and if it come under uh, uh, 6500 it will look like uh, blue uh, uh, reddish color so i i can change the view you can also change the value and use your own color use your own temperature so you can use it as a static static uh, color doesn't change uh, yeah doesn't change so you can see the value so stationary is uh, stationary have their own function it's all we can change the blueprint also we can change the light uh, rotation angle whatever you prefer select the dynamic light and go to the a level blueprint and if you we, we can take the reference by right clicking now from here we can select the detector rotation and from here we just create a, a variable i name it actor rotation and i uh, add event teeth by right click and search event teeth 
you don't not need to do that i just show you how you can uh, add uh, values using a blueprint how you can change uh, values uh, settings and many things so i add a delay uh, d and uh, mouse left button then i add a set after rotation the value will be zero 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 then i will add a delay again and i give the duration one second just like previously and i just select ctrl c ctrl v and i will add another actor rotation and i add the actor rotation value in here i add a function do once compile and save and after one second the light in rotation is changing that is the power of uh, blueprint coding so we can also make it loop so right button and reroute node and i just loop it so it will be daylight daylight day night day night add the target otherwise it won't work we can add a delay also but it doesn't need so if you play again alter p so it will be day and night so this is how you can change your uh, lighting angle uh, next tutorial i will show you about uh, lighting uh, other lighting so bye bye everybody